Hello BookTube, today has been a rather trying day so far, so I thought what better way of um, trying to cheer myself up outside of buying more books than by doing a book tag. So today I'm going to be doing the ultimate book tag. Um, this tag was created by Chapter Chicks and I saw it just recently on Steve Donahue's channel. He did it last night with Sam Sachs a fellow book critic who works for the Wall Street Journal. This tag is a very old one. It um, certainly predates my BookTube channel. I'm thinking it actually predates me watching BookTube because I don't think I've ever seen, I've ever seen Steve do this tag. So it's an old one. So Technocromancy is always cool. Um, so anyway, so let's get going. Question number one. Do you get sick while reading in the car? I have never read in the car. Except for maybe when I was really, really young and read like a comic book or something. Me, I might have read something else as well, as well, but it's been so long that I don't remember. But... I don't really read in the car, I mean, or on transportation because I'm usually more, uh, busier looking at the scenery, the landscape. Um, question number two, which author's writing style is completely unique to you and why? This is a kind of a weird question. Um, so what writer, so... I guess I'll turn this a bit into sort of what writer style works for me. Um, and I guess maybe Jill Lepore. Um, I haven't read everything by her, but a lot of what I've read has worked for me. Um, um, yeah, so I'll just go with that. Uh, question number three. Harry Potter series or the Twilight Saga? Um, give three points to defend your answer. They both suck. <laughs> sorry. Not sorry. Um, like I've said many times, um, I came, I dipped into both series late. Um, if I were ten years younger... I might be singing a different tune, or I might not be, depending roughly about when I actually got around to reading them. Um, but, so, I mean, so, I mean, I've talked about Harry Potter quite a bit. Um, I've tried the series twice. Um, I had um, Goblet of Fire ages ago, and didn't care for it, um, what I read of it, and I had uh, bought a few years ago the first two books, um, Philosopher's Stone and um, Chamber of Secrets, and I dipped into, I made a concerted effort to read um, Philosopher's Stone, and it it ticked me off very much. Um, it's rather condescending in tone, which annoys me. So, yeah, I bailed on it, and I have no intention of ever going back to it. And as for Twilight, I think I had a copy a few years ago that I bought very cheaply uh, from uh, the Cell Nook at the uh, library. And I dipped into it, and uh, no, just no. So, a pox on both of them. <laughs> Question number four. Do you carry a book bag? No, I don't. Um, I have a, 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 a Tashi case. I really need to get one. Um, because when I do take my mom, like, or when I accompany my mom places, um, it's handy. 
but if I when I have used book bags or something similar, it's a regular uh, like one of those bags you uh, re you can reuse from stores. Um, I actually think I have one from the library that I don't know what happened to. Probably should find it and wash it at some point. Um, question number five. Do you smell your books? No. Question number six. Books with or without little illustrations? They're both fine. I mean, obviously, I mean, I, I guess this is that border between middle grade, which usually has spotted, spotted illustrations um, throughout, peppered throughout the book and kind of begin the books that don't. But I mean, they're both okay. I mean, of course, I mean, like you have read nonfiction. Well, I mean, there will be illustrations in there too. Um, of course, I read manga and they're comic books, so uh, both. Uh, question number seven. What book did you love while reading but discovered later it wasn't quality writing? Um, so when I was in my late teens, I read um, Mysterious Skin by Scott Heim. It's a brutal exploration of the effects of childhood sexual abuse on two young men. And I read it in high school. I was 16, 17, and I think I actually reread it like when I was about 18. So I think I read it twice at that time. Although don't quote me on that. Um, and I kept it in my library for obvious reasons, as I've mentioned before. I've actually bled on the book. So um, I had a major hay fever attack at the time. Um, but I hadn't made a considered effort to reread the book until 2020. And when I came back to it, it just... It wasn't as good as I remembered it. Um, it came off very much as a debut novel. Um, so, yeah. Uh, question number eight. Do you have any funny stories involving books from your childhood? Uh, not really. Um... The only thing would be um, when I read a like a great illustrated classics edition of um, A Tale of Two Cities, and I think one other one, and I just read it all in one day. But I mean, a funny story, not really. Question number nine: What is the thickest book on your shelf? Mm hmm. I'm thinking it's either the Shakespeare omnibus that I have, or one of the two uh, critical anthologies that I have. Um, I was an English lit major, and um, I had aspired to um, like higher degrees, so MA. Ideally, I would have loved to have gotten a PhD, but it didn't work out. Um, and so I had a, so I have two anthologies of literary criticism or literary theory. Um, and they're both very chunky. So one of them, possibly one of the books in my history collection could also be, um, have the uh, championship for thickest. Or it could also be my all-in-one volume of Death Note, which is pretty chunky, too. 
Uh, prompt number or question number 11. Do you write as well as read? Do you see yourself in the future as being an author? So ideally, yes. Uh, question number 12. When did you get into reading? As far back as I can remember. I've always been a reader. Question number 13. What is your favorite classic book? Hmm. Well, I mean, of course, there are two ways of uh, approaching this. There's obviously the um, literature of Greece and Rome, which is what is traditionally referred to as the classics. How exactly, I don't know, but they are. Um, and also as another term for canonical works. Um, so using it as, uh, like in Greece and Rome, it would be Theogony by Hesiod. It's a short um, poem about the creation. Well, it's not necessarily short. I mean, it's relatively long, but uh, compared to like the Iliad and the Odyssey, it's short. Um, about the creation of the world and the generations of the gods. Um, as far as like a canonical work, I think my favorite is um, hmm. I guess maybe I need to think about that. I'm not entirely sure um, what it could be. I mean, as I've mentioned a lot of times lately, I'm not really all that drawn to the classics. So, yeah. Question number 14. In school, was your best subject language arts um, English? Actually, I think it would, they were, it would actually be history. That history was actually my best subject. Um, even though I tended to gravitate more towards um, English. Um, I love to read, so that's one of the advantages of that. But um, I did a lot. My best was um, history. Question number 15. If you were given a book as a present that you had read before and hated, what would you do? I would probably uh, either donate the book or trade it in for store credit. And given I have so many books, it's very unlikely that whoever gave me the book is actually going to notice that it's missing. Uh, question number 16. What is a lesser known series that you know of that is similar to Harry Potter or the Hunger Games. Uh, I, I mean, The Magicians by Lev Grossman is fairly similar to Harry Potter. Um, Mashal, uh, Muscle and Magic. I don't quite know who the mangaka's name is. I actually really ought to check that out. Um, is fairly similar to Harry Potter. Um, there's another one. Um, I mean, largely any um, uh, school of magic, really, um, is going to be in some way, shape, or form, in, in part, probably inspired by Harry Potter. Um, but yeah, I would say the Magicians is most definitely and Mashally, Mashal, which I need to actually check out. Might be a bit before I do, though. Um, the Hunger Games, I have, well, obviously there's, um, Battle Royale, um, who I, I'm blanking on the title of that, the author's name, um, because obviously that's what Hunger Games is based on. Um, but I think other than that, I 
I'm drawing a blank. I don't really I have no knowledge of Hunger Games. I've never watched it, read it, nor do I plan to, so. 17. What is a bad habit you always do besides rambling while filming? I don't know. Maybe awkward pauses? Question 18. What is your favorite word? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> uh, question number 19. Are you a nerd, a dork, or dweeb? Well, that's for other people to determine. <laughs> uh, okay, so the next batch of questions are um, either ors between various mythical um, beings. Uh, and I guess the criteria for judgment is open-ended. So for 20, vampires or fairies? I'll go with fairies because I'd rather be one. Or date one for that matter. I mean, because vampires will likely try to kill you and turn you into one and they are undead corpses. So fairies it is. Uh, 21, shapeshifters or angels? Mm, shapeshifters. Because the changelings from Star Trek are cool. Kind of, sort of. Uh, question 22. Spirits or werewolves? Spirits. Because the uh, cursed spirits from Jujutsu Kaisen are amazing. Uh, 23. Zombies or... Wait, did you just... What exactly are vampires here twice? And of course the question is, is what kind of zombies are we talking about here? Are we talking about the sort of the 20th, what kind of zombies here? Because there are multiple kinds of zombies. I mean, there are zombies that are actually more like ghouls. And then there are the... Um, other kind of zombies that are basically enslaved undead. But really, it would be vampires in this case. Uh, 24. Love triangle or forbidden love? How about a forbidden love dodecahedron? <laughs> and finally, chapter, uh, question 25. Full-on romance books or action-packed with a few love scenes mixed in. I'll go with the later. The action-packed story with a few love scenes or love plots or romantic plots sprinkled throughout. It will be my answer here. So, anyway, booktube, that was the ultimate book tag. If um, you are feeling down and need a bit of a pick-me-up, this I could work for you. Um, it kind of worked for me. Um, anyway, I will probably do another tag tomorrow. I don't know if it will be one that's more recent or um, a bit of tag necromancy. There's quite a few older tags that I would like to get to, um, so I might do that. But anyway, BookTube, until I see you tomorrow, thank you. Have a great afternoon and stay safe.